Hey everyone, Ray Del Vecchio here, and in this short video tutorial, we're going to go through the step by step process of signing up to HostGator web hosting and installing WordPress so that you can create your first website. The first thing that we want to do is click on either the web hosting navigation menu item or the get started now button. They're going to take you to the same place, and that's where you're going to compare the three plans that HostGator offers. You can see here they have the hatching plan, the baby plan, and the business plan. If you're a complete beginner, there's probably a 95% chance that all you're going to need is the hatchling plan. This is for a single domain, so if you're building one website and you want to get started for the lowest cost, this is what you're going to want to go with. Now if you want to set up unlimited domains, you can upgrade to the baby plan or the business plan. But for this video demonstration, we're going to go through the hatchling plan and we're going to click the sign up now button. On this sign up page, we can either register a new domain or maybe you already registered the domain with a company like GoDaddy and you just want to set up web hosting for that. Well, you can click the other tab here, but for now, I'm, I'm going to search for a domain that I'd like to register and I'm going to type in raydelvec.com and then once I click out of this box, it's going to automatically search to see if this is available and it looks like we're good to go here. Under this, you can see they have an option for domain privacy. Now, if you're not certain about this, when you register a domain, your contact information is going to be publicly available. So if you, if you want privacy, so your information isn't out there, you can add this on. But once again, if you're a beginner, there's usually no need to do this from day one. You can always upgrade if you want to add it in the future. So I'm going to uncheck this to get the lowest cost, and we're going to scroll down to choose our hosting plan. On the previous page, I already selected the Hatchling plan, so you can change that on this page if you'd like, but I'm going to leave it as is. And by default, they set up the billing cycle at 36 months, so this is if you want to prepay three years, and that's going to give you the lowest monthly price, so you're going to save a lot if you register in advance. But once again, I'm going to go for the cheapest way to get started, and I'm going to go one month at $10.95 a month, and as you'll see in a minute here, we're going to put in a coupon code to get that first month down to one penny. So let me go ahead and select a username here. And I'll also select a security pin. And then we'll go down to the billing info section. Let me quickly fill this out. I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back when this is done. The next section here is for additional services and once again we can deselect all of these. We don't need them and you can always upgrade if you do in the future. Now this is where we can enter our coupon code and right now the amount due is $25.95 but if we type in the coupon code 1WPHosting and click the validate button you'll see that our total goes down to $12.96 and this includes the Domain registration for one year, which is $12.95, and our one month of, ha of the hatchling plan is going to be one cent. So I'm just going to click this checkbox that I've read and agreed to the terms of service, and I'm going to check out. And now that we've checked out, we come to this um, payment completed order form, and they're going to generate our account info. So once we get that information, we can get started with installing WordPress. Our HostGator account is now set up and we're brought to this account page where we can handle our billing, our hosting, and our domains. And they also send you an email with the account information. So let me pop over to my Gmail account and you'll see the three emails that they sent me. The top one up here from HostGator Billing gives us our username and password to manage the billing which is the section that we just looked at over here. They also send you a welcome email saying that your new hosting account is ready with a few links. But the one that we're really looking at right now is this first one from HostGator.com with your account info because this is going to give us where we can log in to install WordPress and also our name servers. So if we, if we need to update this, this is what links your domain name to HostGator's web hosting. Now right here is the link to my control panel. So I'm going to click on this and we're going to log in with the username and password that they provided us here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this 
and I'll do the same thing for the password and we'll log in to our cPanel and that's where we're going to be able to install WordPress. And from here you, you can see I got a couple pop-ups. This one over here is called LastPass and this actually has nothing to do with HostGator. This is just a program that I use to manage my passwords. So I, I definitely recommend you look into that if you have a lot of accounts and usernames and passwords that you want to keep secure. And up here they also have a little banner for constant contact email marketing which is available with our hosting but we're just going to exit out of this because we don't need that right now. The button that we're looking for is this build a new WordPress site button and depending on your version of cPanel you may also see a button called WordPress installer. Another option that you can do if you scroll down to the software uh, section down here you can click on quick install and this actually gives you an option to install a suite of services and WordPress is included in that and this is just up here the build a new WordPress site button is just a shortcut to that quick install section so let's click this button and this is going to allow us to install WordPress so all we need to do is select our domain from the drop down menu and I'm going to install WordPress just right on this domain if you'd like to install it within a subdirectory you can do that but I would say most of the time you're going to want to install WordPress on the top level domain and we'll just click the next button and we have to fill in these install settings so we're going to name the blog I'll just put in my name for the blog title admin user I'll just type in my first name same thing here I'll do my first name and the last name I'll just do my initials and then I can type in my admin email Here we have the checkbox automatically create a new database for this installation and then we just need to click this terms of service agreement so that we can install. And that's it. We're done here. We have WordPress installed and it gives us our username and password. So let me click the login button. I'm going to open this in a new tab and we will log into our WordPress installation. I'm just going to copy the password and let me quickly type this in and paste in the password and you'll see that we're going to be good to begin developing our WordPress website. And if we take a look right now it's going to have the uh, default WordPress theme installed, probably the 2017 theme right now. So if we go over here and hover over the name of our site and we can open up the site in a new tab and this is what it looks like. So it's pretty basic, but if you install a new theme, you can get a whole new look to the website. And then if you spend a little bit of time customizing the theme, you can get a really professional look. Whether you're just setting up a blog, like a food blog, a fashion blog, you know, somewhere that you can write your own journal, or maybe you're creating a business website, specifically for generating leads for your business. Regardless of your situation, WordPress, in my opinion, is the best software to use to develop your website. I have a handful of other videos if you'd like to go from this point once you have WordPress installed on HostGator to developing your website. I'm going to link other videos in the description. I have a WordPress basics playlist that'll take you through the WordPress admin area which is this page over here. That, that'll help to familiarize you with that section and how to edit your website from here. I also have a full-length tutorial on how to build a website customizing the 2017 theme which is the theme that we have installed on here so please check those other videos out and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you get started with WordPress and if you're not signed up as I mentioned at the beginning of the video I highly recommend that you go to hostgator.com to get started with their hatchling plan and you can use the code 1WP hosting to get your first month for one penny thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video